That's awful nice of them. We got covered parking for visitors. Leaving White Sands National Park, I don't think I stopped for lunch, but headed directly toward Pima Air and Space Museum, over 300 miles to the west, just this side of Tucson, Arizona. I figured that I was cutting it close, but then again, that seems what I always do. Pima Air and Space Museum is one of the largest non-government funded aviation and space museums in the world, featuring 400 historic aircraft from the Wright Flyer to a 787 Dreamliner. You can thank me that I did not take pics of all of them. Sitting on 80 acres, the museum opened its doors to the public in May of 1976. The museum is open seven days a week, except Thanksgiving and Christmas. However, the hours vary from summer to winter, so be sure to confirm. In the description, I will put a link to Pima Air and Space Museum's extensive video library. I made it before closing. I've got two hours to explore. Oh, this is so cool. This aircraft flying right over my head. Oh, look up there. So that's the first one I do believe. I've seen these guys, the Blue Angels. And they're the Whirly Bird. The Bell UH-1C Iroquois E. Oh, it's got some firepower in there too. Okay, that big black thing right in the center. That's the one I want to get close up to. Wow, look at this big old black bird. Awesome. I think it's a drone. Right above me here is the famous or infamous Lockheed SR-71A Blackbird. That would be the pilot seat configuration. And here on the front would be the controls he would be looking at. Look at this thing. Hundred and forty thousand pounds loaded, speed two thousand one hundred and ninety-three miles an hour. That's Mach three plus maximum altitude over eighty-five thousand feet. Range was thirty two hundred miles. That's a drone there. I need to ask how many planes they've got on display, but if you come here to see all the planes, the kiddos can have something to play with while you're looking at the big toys. This is outside, one area of outside. B-17 Flying Fortress. I want to go in there and take a look at that bird. I think I may have flown on one of those in San Antonio. Oh, this is special. This is like the one that I flew on in San Antonio back in 2009 and later put together a video and I'll post a link to that. B-17, she's a pretty bird. Got gun turrets on both sides and in the back. In case somebody's followed them, it should be followed. And also a gun turret on the top in case somebody's coming down from above. And then also a gun turret underneath there in case somebody's sneaking up from the bottom. Oodles and gobs and gobs and oodles of aircraft out here. Tell you what though, uh, I'd recommend coming in cooler weather. It's hot out here right now, it's in August. The Apollo Command Module. 
look at all the buttons and controls. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Lots of buttons and controls. This is the famous Korsky Blackhawk helicopter. You look inside here. Inside of all these, it's tight quarters. We got one, two, three screens up there. Four screens. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like seven, eight, nine. That's the pilot and co pilot. Wow, this is a simulator used to train the astronauts. Oh my goodness, look at these buttons. There's billions and billions, billions and billions of buttons here. Phenomenal. This is one of the many places along the way that I've stopped at just for a couple hours or so that I would love to return and spend an entire day. I mean, really, you could burn up an entire day here.